again to howtocookgreatfood.com if you haven't already please click that button and subscribe to our channel on the main today and as you can see right there and steaming hot just out of the pan we're going to be doing sag aloo or palak aloo or spinach and potato some lovely spices in there really quite easy to make vegetarian vegan healthy wonderful let's go and do it okay let's take a look at what we'll be using today I've got some potatoes there, peeled, cut, and I parboiled them. So I brought them to boil just for like two to three minutes, just to help them on their way with some salt water. Spinach. Now I've got a cooked spinach. You could be using a, a frozen spinach or a tinned spinach or fresh, of course. Tomatoes, about equal parts. Onions, I'm slicing mine. I've got there some curry leaves. If you can get fresh ones, absolutely amazing. Here I've got our powder. So we've got like a little teaspoon of chili powder, turmeric and coriander powder. I've got there some chopped green fresh chili. Here I've got like two teaspoons of garlic ginger paste. And here I've got our whole garam masala, our seeds. I've got some cumin seeds, some black mustard seeds, a little bit of green cardamom and I've got a little bit of cinnamon stick. That is about it. Let's get over to the cooker. Okay so I've got my trusty pan and I've got some oil in there. I'm using a sunflower oil but you could be using something like mustard oil or coconut oil if you wanted and we're just heating that up and what we're going to do is we're going to drop in our whole garam masala so like I say today I'm using a little bit of cinnamon stick and then here I've got green car cardamom cumin seeds and black mustard seeds that's the combination I'm using you could be going for anything else that you like of course now what we want to do and as always we just want to Get them in this hot oil and what they'll do is infuse the oil so just don't skip this step because you know it's really important just a few seconds in that hot oil they're going to make that oil really delicious that's great stuff we're now going to add our fresh curry leaves and you can get these dried as well if you want apparently Then goes our onion. Like I said, I'm using a sliced onion today. So you could be chopping it if you want. To that I'm going to add our garlic ginger paste, which is a 50-50 mix of pureed garlic and ginger. There's a link below on how to make that if you want. And then we're going to go in with our potatoes, which I say I parboiled. So, you know, they're still really quite hard, but on their way in just a few minutes. Really simply, on this fairly high heat, let's throw these around for like three to four minutes, stirring pretty much all the time. Okay, this is coming together really nicely. At this point we're now going to add in our cooked spinach or chopped cooked spinach. Like I say, this is a frozen one. If you're using fresh spinach now or palak, you need to wash it really well because obviously it's going to have some grit and stones in and then you can just pile it in it'll be really huge because it cooks right down. I mean that, that amount there would look like that fresh, you know, like a huge amount. It's much more convenient this way. Okay, why I'm here. Let's get some salt in the mix. Then I'm going to get my powders in. Today, like I say, I'm using equal parts here of turmeric, chili and coriander powder. You could, of course, just be using a curry powder that, you know, you like the mix you already have. And to that now, we're going to add some chopped fresh tomatoes, try and use a nice juicy one and then our fresh chilli how much you put in, entirely up to you ok again we're staying on this kind of fairly vigorous heat and we're going to go for about another 3 or 4 minutes, stirring pretty much all the time now I think that's looking wonderful. All I want to do now is put a little splash of water in, not too much. 
half a glass here. Then I want to lower the heat to a medium. And I want to just cook that now until our potatoes are ready, which in my case is going to be about four or five minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, I'm super happy with that. Off goes the heat. Just at the end, I'm just going to add a little bit here of a garam masala powder. Nice little finishing powder that is. Again, we've made that on the channel so you can check that out if you want. If you wanted now some fresh cilantro or coriander in here would be fantastic or fresh mint. And that's it, check that for salt. But for me, that's done. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.